The UAE has become a popular trust and foundation planning jurisdiction over the past few years. So it's only natural that some people are interested in moving their trust or foundation from its current jurisdiction to the UAE. Now, the UAE offers foundations in three of its free zones, in the Abu Dhabi Global Markets, or ADGM free zone for short, in the Dubai International Financial Center, or DIFC for short, or in the Ra's Al Khaimah International Corporate Center, RAC ICC for short. And it offers trusts in two of its free zones, in DIFC and ADGM. As of yet, RAC ICC does not have a trusts law. Now, all of these jurisdictions allow inbound migrations of trusts or foundations, as the case may be. Now, the big advantage of migrations is that it's a continuation of the same entity. So all of your bank accounts, assets, contracts, titling, all of that remains the same. Whereas if you were to start a new trust or foundation, you need to get new bank accounts, you need to retitle assets and all of those types of things. That makes migration very, very attractive because it's the continuation of the same entity. So if you're interested in migrating your trust or foundation to the UAE and you want to know if it's possible and how, the first thing that you need to do is verify that your current jurisdiction allows outbound migrations. If it does allow outbound migrations, then we'll take a look at what the next considerations are. If it doesn't allow outbound migrations, then you're kind of stuck. You need to set up a new trust or foundation and transfer the assets to it. Assuming that your current jurisdiction allows outbound migrations, the next thing we need to do is verify that your trust or foundation's governing documents allows for outbound migrations to another jurisdiction. If it does, great, you're good to go to migrate. If it does not, then we need to look and see if the governing documents of your trust or foundation can be amended to allow for an outbound migration. If so, then you could amend your trust or foundation's governing documents and go ahead and continue with the migration. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. If it's not possible, then do your trust or foundation's governing documents. Allow your trust or foundation to set up other trusts and foundations in other jurisdictions and transfer its assets to that new trust or foundation. If so, great then your current trust or foundation could set up a trust or foundation in the UAE and transfer its assets to it. If your governing documents do not allow for that, then we need to look and see if your current trust or foundation can be amended to allow for it to set up a trust or foundation in a different jurisdiction and transfer assets to it. If so, then we can do that and you can begin the migration process. If that's not allowed and it can't be amended to be allowed, then another thing that we can look at is whether your trust or foundation is allowed to distribute assets to another trust or foundation. If so, then you could do that and migrate. If not, then can your governing documents be amended to allow your trust and foundation to add your new trust or foundation in the UAE as a beneficiary and distribute assets to it? If so, then that's what we'd want to do. If not, then you're kind of stuck and if you wanted to move, your only real option is to set up a new trust or foundation and start putting new assets in it and just leave the old assets in the old trust or foundation. Now, one of the other things that you need to consider is whether or not migration really makes sense for you. Like I said, the big advantage of migration is it is a continuation of the same legal entity, right? So all the title of assets and all that kind of stuff stays in place. You have the whole history and everything that comes along with it, which is obviously very attractive. That being said, migration is a lot of work. It's, it's a complex process, it's very paperwork intensive, which means that it's usually more expensive and more administratively burdensome to migrate than simply set up a new trust or foundation and transfer assets to it. So that's something that you'd want to evaluate. Regardless of whether you're going to migrate or set up a new trust or foundation and then transfer the assets from your old trust or foundation to the new trust or foundation, you're going to want to evaluate what the tax consequences of doing so is. An outbound migration may have tax consequences in the jurisdiction you're leaving. You want to evaluate what those are to make sure they're not overly burdensome and you can live with them. Also, potentially retitling the assets if in the event you're setting up a new trust or foundation 
and transferring the assets from the old foundation or trust to the new foundation or trust, you'll want to make sure that you understand what the tax consequences are, if any, of moving those trusted assets from your old trust or foundation to your new trust or foundation. If you're considering migrating your trust or foundation to the UAE or potentially setting up a new trust or foundation here and transferring your assets to it, we'd love to help. We've helped several clients do this already, and I think we have a good experience in helping people do this. We can help you evaluate if this is the right move for you. And if you want to gain some more information on trusts and foundations, download our Trusts and Foundations Guide. I'll put the link down in the description. Thank you.